Hello, and welcome to Indie Cigar Review. Today, we are reviewing the Rocky Patel 15th Anniversary in Torpedo Size. This cigar was rated number 6 by CigarAficionado.com. It is a Nicaraguan cigar with a Ecuadorian wrapper natural with a wrapper leaf of a Habano. I am very, very excited to smoke this cigar. I recently reviewed the Gurkha Beast, which I frankly found to be horrible. So, after having such a bad experience with a cigar, I decided to break out this bad boy, which has been sitting in my humidor for roughly three months. And, yeah, kind of been saving it. But that cigar put me in a bad mood, so I waited a couple hours to refresh the palate, ate a little bit of food, drank some bit, a bit of water, among some other things. And now I'm ready to review this. So, this is a torpedo-shaped cigar, which means you clip the end. If you're watching this, you probably already know that. of this flying across the room. Hopefully my cats don't eat that. Very, very good pepper. Semi-sweet smell. It actually makes my nose tingle a little bit. So, um, if that's any indication, it would be a pretty strong cigar. As you can see, it's very nice. It has minor spotting, but other than that, the seams are almost invisible. There's no real veins to speak of besides perhaps one or two. Presentation-wise, this cigar is beautiful. Aroma-wise, this cigar is beautiful. Pre-light draw, this cigar is beautiful. Let's see if the flavor, smoke production, strength, and everything else we review here lives up to that so far beautiful potential. So far, there is a very strong peppery aroma leaving the end of the cigar. It smells very, very nice, but again, should be akin to the fact this is probably going to be a pretty strong cigar. Never had one before, so I wasn't aware of that. Wow. The Habano leaf gives a minor peppery tinge to the tongue for the Habano wrapper. Eh, the draw is a little bit snug, but with torpedoes, you can always just clip a little more off if I so choose. If it bothers me, I will. Very strong pepper in the front of the palate. Very nice smoke. Aroma coming off is very, very nice. Overall, really good cigar. I sincerely hope it keeps up this performance because I don't want another Gurkha Beast. That cigar almost made me not want to smoke again today. It just put me in a bad mood. And for me, cigars are an experience, and it's best when they're a positive experience. That cigar wasn't. This cigar so far already absolutely is. So I will come back to you at the first third with an update and see if these flavors have maintained their deliciousness or have gotten even better.
Also, minor sweetness too on the finish. Wasn't quite able to tell at first, but definitely minor sweetness. Speak to you. All right, so we are down to the first third. Very fast burner. Actually, not so much. It's been 14 minutes. It's decent for a start. The draw has continued to be very tight, though, so I decided to do something a little special. I am going to break out my limited edition black and gold lacquer Rocky Patel cutter, which is a beautiful cutter. Sadly, it's not up to snuff for the performance I like for my cutters, so I have retired it as purely a showpiece. As you can see, it's one hell of a showpiece. This thing is beautiful. 24 karat gold accents, black lacquer. But for this occasion, I'm going to use it to snip the end off just a little more to improve upon the draw. This is actually a triple capped cigar, triple capped torpedo, no less. Has smoked a few triple cap cigars, not many though. Triple cap torpedoes is a first. Now, this cigar is very, very good. Flavors are very nice, smooth, smooth smoke. Smoke reduction is a little lacking, but this last snip should certainly help with that. Took some time to do a little bit of research, and it seems the filler of this cigar is actually purely made for one cigar which is this one cigar Rocky Patel 15th anniversary I watched an interview as well as read a few articles about it and it's supposed to have a very spicy pronounced almost peppery flavor to it and it truly does it has a taste of a very finely ground black pepper Picture a steak. Now, a steak's good on its own, but if you add a little bit of that nice, finely ground, high-quality pepper to it, it accents the flavors in such a way to where it becomes much more enjoyable. That's exactly what it does for this cigar. And that is now loosened up the draw as well, so fantastic. It already has very, very good flavors to it. It is a very enjoyable smoke. However, you get that pepper taste on the palate, that nice little spice to it, and it just it sets it over the top. I absolutely love the cigar. So far, I highly recommend it. They are only $10 a piece or $200 for a very ornate dark wood with metal accented box. Very, very pretty. So, for $10 a stick for something this good, I do not recommend you pass it up. Stop making excuses. Go down to your local tobacconist, brick and mortar shop, online retailer, and purchase one. Now, I'm still going to smoke this down to the very nub. Keep in mind, this has only just been started. But from these flavors so far alone, I cannot recommend this highly enough. So, I will come back to you at the halfway point, once slightly beyond the band, and once more at the nub. Now, the nub for torpedoes is always very nasty, to put it mildly. This could be different, but I doubt it will be. But either way, for purposes of the review, I will smoke it down to the absolute nub. But until that point, I am looking forward to smoking this beautiful cigar. Thank you for your time, and I will see you shortly. Alright, we are halfway down the Rocky Patel 15th anniversary. The burn is not razor sharp, but is not in any real need of touch-ups either. Flavors have maintained that same peppery, smooth tobacco, minor sweetness, a bunch of different varieties to them actually there's a few flavors I can't quite pinpoint I know it's definitely nothing I've normally encountered before but 
very pleasant, whatever it is. As I had said, the cigar is akin to a fine steak. The steak is good by itself, which represents the cigar. And that nice peppery spice to it, that nice finish, just adds to it so, so well. I will come back to you at a little bit beyond the band point and let you know how it has developed. This first band point, by the way. And then after that, down to the nub. So far, though, performance is fantastic. Draw is still quite snug, but despite the, the little, bit of, little bit of smoke I'm getting out of it, the flavor, it's still just fantastic. The little bit of smoke doesn't matter. You still get a very full flavor out of it. It's probably maybe a medium body. It does have a minor kick to it, but nothing too major. You probably smoke, smoke this on an empty stomach if you wanted to, or... When you first woke up, and the most you probably have is a minor twinge in your stomach, if anything at all. So not terribly strong, but that's fine with me. Flavors are fantastic. Come back with you shortly. Alright, very fast update. The burn has gone quite uneven. There's minor canoeing or, I don't know, a side burn like that so to speak I don't know what the terminology is called for it I call it canoeing but it could be inc incorrect either way pretty major um I tried to puff a little faster tried purging doing other things to avoid a touch up and just getting worse so I will have to touch this up soon if it doesn't fix itself but still very minor complaint for an overall fantastic cigar but it should still be noted Alright, we are just past the band point. I just took off the band a little while ago. Flavors still roughly the same, no real transitions, but with the flavor as good as it is, I don't really don't want to transition. That nice peppery on the forefront of the palate, the smooth tobacco, semi-sweet finish to it. It's frankly <laughs> close as I've actually tasted to perfection for a cigar this is an amazing cigar um, the draw has loosened up a little bit after a relight because the draw became so tight that okay, it just went out which is a problem to do with the construction flavors despite that though have maintained the second light or the relight the one touch up I had to do to the cigar none of it really affected the flavor it all stayed very pleasant. Only difference I can say is there is a sweetness at the front of the palate, which also combines with that really strong peppery. And then there's a pepper on the finish, and then a very nice sweet tobacco a little bit beyond that finish point. Either way, very good cigar. I will come back to you actually at the nub because the second band is right there virtually at the nub. So I'll go to about that point and that will be the nub. So yes, I shall see you shortly. And so far we are at a whopping one hour and four minutes and the cigar is still that much of it left. So a very, very slow burner. Very good cigar. Still highly recommend. To the actual nub of the Rocky Patel 15th anniversary. Two touch ups, one relight. However, the overall fantastic flavor. I don't really have any complaints. Yes, the draw was very tight, it was annoying. It took three clips. In order to actually be to where I was able to get even a remotely okay amount of smoke. Never really decent. Never large quantities, but a decent amount. Or, no, excuse me, an okay amount. 
but the flavors are just fantastic. So overall, this cigar absolutely earns a tobacco inspired, a tobacco infused, and a pure bliss smile from me. Cheese from Indie Cigar Review. So, as always, and once again, if you like the video, hit like. If not, entirely up to you. Subscribe if you like what I have to say. If you have any cigars you want to have me review in the future or any other reason, hey, I don't mind. So, yes, this has been Indie Cigar Review. Thank you so much for your time. As always, have a great day. Great morning, great noon, great night, whatever you're doing. Hope you're having a wonderful time and you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for your time.